Hi everyone, I'm Francesca Salorni, a biomedical engineer in biomechanics and biomaterial, and I'm attending the second PhD here. The topic of my research is virtual reality as an instrument of destruction and gate improvement, and my supervisor is Maria Luisa Gandolfi. My research area is neuroscience, physiological and physiatric science and movement disorders. And in particular, I'm working in Gorgoroma Hospital, where I can execute tests and research on patients, especially those affected by Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and functional motor disorders. Functional motor disorders can be considered an eye disabling condition characterized by long-term disability and poor quality of life, such as organic movement disorders as Parkinson and multiple sclerosis. Rehabilitation is essential in managing this kind of patient, in particular functional motor disorders, because of their inconsistency and incongruous behaviors and their movement that have features usually associated with voluntary movement, but perceived as involuntary ones and not under their control. Moreover, in functional motor disorders, the patient functional symptoms are potentially reversible respect to organic disease. Despite that, functional motor disorders have been widely misunderstood, receiving little public and academic attention. Only in the last few years, scientific community expressed interest in the technological field, but functional motor disorders are still few understood and treated. Understanding and establishing a recovery pathway will contribute not only to patient recovery, but also to reduce hospital care costs. So the aim of my PhD project, project is to devise a doc digital telemedicine solution to improve the short and long-term care of this patient through digital telerehabilitation. In particular, with this project, we use a virtual reality as an instrument to explore how my influence gate in healthy controls respect to patients and also to facilitate distraction and help functional motor disorders in recovering memory of gait steps. The first step to reach that purpose was done a systematic literature, literature review or rehabilitation with technological tools from which we found that virtual reality could be used to manage this patient, improving working disorders and consequently quality of life. However, no study has been conducted to explore the effect of virtual reality on functional motor disorders. The second step was to analyze the behavior of the gate parameters of the first 22 healthy controls and test tests during free work, cognitive and visual fixation dual task wearing instrument in souls, both in real and in virtual environment. The third and actual step is to analyze patients in the same condition to compare results with the health controls. To date, we have tested 40 healthy controls and 22 functional motor disorders patients. Regarding the second step, we compare gait parameters such as gait speed as performance biomarker, stride and swing time variability as automaticity indicator between different tasks. Results reveal that gait speed decreases in all tasks compared to single and visual fixation dual tasks in the real environment. Moreover, swing and stride time variability worsened only in the cognitive dual task in the real environment compared to the single task and visual fixation dual task in the real environment. Based on, on the result obtained on healthy controls, we think that applying this protocol on functional motor disorders patients could get differences in single task and visual fixation dual task in real environment, helping to understand the pathology. Then, virtual reality could facilitate the movement of attentive focus, improving the parameters of the gait in these patients. If this hypothesis will be verified, virtual reality could be integrated in rehabilitative pathway, mainly in the context of digital rehabilitation, enhancing remote monitoring and reduction of healthcare costs. Thank you for your attention.